Brisbane Wakes Up with Steph, Abby and Matt on B105. How are we, everybody? Hello. Happy Friday. And also, and also to, to you, it is right, right to give praise to a Friday. Friday. I'm in there, them. It is a Friday. Here is our amazing podcast. Enjoy. Uh, I am trying to sell our car at the moment. Okay. So if anyone's interested, once it starts. Uh, Holden Captiva 2016, yeah. only 86,000 on the clock. It goes faster. Yes, it does. Um, Have you typed in what it's worth? Yeah, yeah. so I went to car sales, you know, you yeah, jump on you, there, yeah. put in all the info or whatever, um, and I, it came up at about uh, 14,500. Mm-hmm. So I put it up at 12. Great. Bit of wiggle room, you know, yep. all that yeah, sort of yeah. stuff. Um, but I've also put it on Facebook Marketplace as well. Mm. I've been thinking everyone's about like, into this. Yeah. Mm. Everyone's just scared for it. Me too. Chuck it up there because um, there's a lot of people who buy boats and jet skis and mm. all sorts of stuff on there. Um, but I never really factored in that you got to be the person to like do the deal and talk with the people mm. and do all that sort of stuff. Which is fine because I've sold heaps of stuff on Marketplace before, but generally it's only like, you know, bikes and mm. small stuff. I've done Gumtree before. But it didn't go well for me because then when they came, they gave me like this story that I felt really sorry for him, and then we just gave it to him for free. And then Scott threw in a vacuum. Jesus. Oh, see, I don't have a heart, so that won't be an issue. <laughs> but don't you feel, yeah, because uh, no. <laughs> I just feel like everyone is more. I'm not. I don't want to negotiate. Mm. Yeah, no, you got to be prepared to negotiate, which I'm fine with. But what I've thought is. If something goes wrong with the car mm. after the sale, and look, I've got the safety check on it. I'm doing all the right stuff. I don't want to rip anyone off. Mm. Um, they know where you live. Yeah. So if they contact you in six months' time and say something's gone wrong with you, like, oh, look, I'm really sorry, but that, that wasn't an issue. I had it fully checked, roadworthy, everything's yeah. done. But, like, that's just what happens when you buy a car. Because if you sell it through the cars thing, I guess there is some sort of, I don't know, insurance or something. Is there not? not? too sure. Not too sure. How, how long of a warranty do you give them? You can't give a warranty. Well, there's no, there's no <laughs> warranty. I don't know what you're going to do to the car when you drive out. No, but that's fine. You just put your dress as a neighbour. Yeah. And then yeah. when they rock up, you... Uh, uh, there. Out so the front. that's the thing. I'm, I'm like, I'm meeting people in the car park of shopping centres and stuff. But then the other thing I didn't really think about when I thought I will sell the car is they want a test drive. Mm. So do I go in the back seat while they test drive, or do I just chuck them my keys and then think, oh, I hope they come back? Mm. Um, but then I don't even know if you give them the keys to test drive. And they do steal it. Does your insurer say, well, you, it's the same as like leaving your door unlocked. Is mm. it, you gave them the keys. My mm. friend did get a car stolen. She did get it back, but it wasn't in very good condition and she was selling it. Yeah. And she took the keys of their car. Well, they left it at her house. Yeah. yeah. Right. So she's like, she had the keys anyway. Sweet. And she's like, you that guys works. can go for a drive. Yeah. And it was a lovely couple as mm. well. Mm-hmm. And they didn't come back with the car. And she's like, well, I've got their car and their car. It was actually a better one because they said they were getting it for their daughter. Oh, right. Mm. So their car was better. Mm. So she that's a Lambo behind. She called the police and they came and they're like, well, this car's stolen. Oh, oh so right. They left it stolen. Maybe they're on a road trip and they just do that as they go. Well, they run out of fuel and then they get hands on another car. <laughs> yeah. But she was she was just more hurt that she was like, they were lovely. Yeah. They gave see? me this big story. Mm. She's like, do they not have a daughter? I'm like, well, that doesn't mean that everyone's going to come and go, hey, I'm a dodgy person. No. Can I take no. Well, then, because that's the thing. What I do is if someone contacts me, I then look at their Facebook profile and I what, go, oh, they got a couple of up? kids and a nice photo with a the dog. They'd be all right. Yeah. They'd be okay. Would you think this, this guy, if you saw a photo of him coming, what would you think? Friendly? I'd be like, oh, I reckon I can make another grand out of him. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> I'm a terrible haggler. <laughs> terrible. That's why I hated barley. So has anyone come to your house? Yes, yeah, so do I for that no, reason. Hey, yeah, yeah, Scott. Yeah, no. See, I don't like negotiating. No. Yeah. Has anyone come? Yeah, we, I've had one one uh, couple come. And they're not interested? Um, well, no, they are. And it was interesting because she went for a test drive and I didn't even think to say anything. I went, oh, do you want to drive? She goes, yeah, yeah. And her partner was there um, with her with their child and Edie and... Uh, the daughter were jumping on the trampoline at the time, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I'll wait here." I'm like, "Oh well, she ain't gonna steal it unless she really hates her husband and child." So they use leave them behind. As collateral. <laughs> yeah, so. I don't know what the protocol is. Yeah, I don't, for it, I don't know either. Because, yeah, because I don't know. I, Facebook Marketplace always scares me with interaction. Yeah, and I think so. If I do go for the ride along, do I sit in the front seat with them? Or, like, do I get in the back seat and I'm just like a, a back seat driver? A hey, I'm so sorry. I felt like you didn't indicate early you know, enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a really, I don't know, it's a, str- it's a strange thing because you also, like, I've bought stuff on Marketplace before. I bought a iron bathtub from a guy. Because I was going to turn yeah. it into a, a planter box, yeah, which I did. Great. 
And I got there, and those things are heavy as anything. It's a two-story joint. Mm. And if you remember, I get there, the guy had a moon boot on. That's right. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, I don't reckon that's broken, that ankle. He just doesn't want to help me carry this down the stairs, <laughs> so he's whacked that on. I yeah. had to cut it out of his bathroom for him. Wow. What like, this sort is of strange. a sicko would wear a fake moon boot? That's so weird. I find those people, like, just morally wrong. Corrupt. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. How long did you do it for, the fake moon boot? A week. <laughs> but it I, was two weeks. You I paid it. the price. I broke my ankle for real six months later. You did. Karma. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, karma. Um, but 131060, <laughs> Facebook Marketplace Interactions. Mm. Have you had any weird ones? You've gone to someone's house mm-hmm. and it just never appeared to be what it was that you were actually buying or yeah. it felt sketchy. Mm-hmm. Because it happens. It does. Um, 131060, the weirdest Facebook Marketplace interaction you have. We'll get you on next. Stab Abby and Matt for breakfast. B105. We're asking on 131060 your strange marketplace interactions. I'm trying to sell uh, our car at the moment. Mm -hmm. Haven't had anything weird happen, but I do have that awkward thing about when they go for the test drive. Like, do I ask them for a down payment or get their uh, driver's license off them in case they just speed off in the car and I never see them again? Isn't that interesting that we're so fearful of telling someone, look, I think you're really dodgy or I think you might steal it? Well, you know, I know. So you just I pretend. Feel, you're like, oh, everything's fine. I'm embarrassed to say there's a chance you might be dodged. Like, mm. yeah. you, look, you seem lovely. It's just other people would have ruined it for the minority. if someone just said it to you? No, not at See? all. But go. I would front it. Mm. I would, at the start, I would go, hey, I'll go for a test drive. Here's my license. Yeah. Um, so I would kind of cut off the weirdness. Yeah, yeah. We've got B in Pinkaba. What happened with you on uh, Marketplace Facebook? Marketplace. Uh, it, says, it says marketplace. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you on the market book? <laughs> Tell us about the Facebook, please, B. Hey, guys. Um, so we were selling an electric guitar and we had a guy rock up to our place um, in a little hippie van kind of thing and then he jumped out of the car with his cord and um, we were selling an amp as well, so he proceeded to say that he wanted to test it out mm-hmm. and plugged his amp in and started having a big jam session in the house and yeah it was quite loud but he was with the rock star wow. right how long did he jam for uh he was there for maybe 20 minutes half an hour wow <laughs> was he good on a set oh, yeah he was good and then there was obviously lots of war stories about bands that he played in uh, throughout brisbane and, yeah. oh, and all that yeah. sort of stuff so it was interesting but a little bit weird but like what's this guy doing did he buy it yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah just making oh, sure. Yeah, I good. just didn't know if this was his thing, just a bit yeah. lonely and going yeah. over and just doing jam sessions at people's houses. He doesn't own a guitar, can't yeah. afford one, so he just goes to yeah. pretend to buy them yeah. so he can play. Puts, plays his first song. Any requests? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Anonymous. Anonymous, what's your Facebook Marketplace story? Hello. Um, so my husband and I were looking for a couch to buy um, on Marketplace. We messaged a few people and this guy immediately got back to me. Um, so basically, he was asking for a down payment because a lot of people were interested in the couch. Mm-hmm. Um, I was like, oh, no, thank you. Like, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Um, we, we scheduled a time and everything like that. We drove half an hour to um, this address. We rocked up to the address. My husband gets out. Um, and at the door, there is a letter saying, this is not the address. We have been scammed. This person keeps giving out oh. these people's oh. address. So oh. sad. Oh, no. So they're rocking up there to pick up their couch. Which means yeah. people have been giving that down oh. payment. Mm. See, there aren't Yeah, people are giving you that down yeah. payment. Yeah. And these poor people are just random people. And, yeah, people keep rocking up to their houses looking for a couch. I don't know about you, but I'd be too embarrassed to admit it, so I probably wouldn't report it. You go, oh, that's my fault. Well, that's, no, that's literally. Say I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. You'd feel so yeah. bad if you lived in that house, you'd just have a supply of couches out the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they say that with scams, though, we don't know the true number of no. money that gets like because stolen you, you, because you, know, you don't want to admit it. Especially with the people that are, you know, romantically leaked, yeah. linked, and then you go, oh my gosh, yeah. like everything mm. looked like it was dodged and I didn't realise. Yeah, my mate, the Nigerian prince, says there are signs you can look for. Yeah. yeah. How are you guys going, Good. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Uh, he's going to fly me over soon once I hit a certain uh, target. That's great. What's your target? <laughs> uh, I think a mill. <laughs> <laughs> Second job coming your way. Ali in Heathwood, what happened to you on Facebook Marketplace? Hi. Hi. Um, it was actually only yesterday mm-hmm. this happened. And uh, very similar to the last one, I was looking for a dining room suite. Um, this lady gave me a massive, you know, sob story about, I've got a newborn baby. I'm so sorry. I'm really, 
blase, blah, blah, blah. Except I was silly enough to put a down payment on it. Mm. Oh, yeah. How much? $85. Okay. Mm. And I drove an hour away to this house and I've gotten out, opened the gate, and this elderly couple walk out with just this look on their face and I instantly knew I'd been scammed and they were so apologetic. No. They just had 30 people in the last week no. come wow. to their house and they don't know why. But, um, that's because that's yeah. the thing. Once they give an address, yeah. you know, you look it up and you're like, oh, well, they've given me the address. Like <laughs> the worst part is, I looked it up and it had a business attached to it, so I questioned about it. And she said, oh, that's just my husband's business. So mm. every like this person really did their research mm. on this couple. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Oh. See, and you know what? They would do that, and then they would just flick on to once it sort of catches on. They go to a new address. Yeah. They're probably just doing them nonstop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> well, if anyone wants to put a deposit down on a Holden Captiva. So. Uh, <laughs> Stab Abby and Matt for breakfast. B105. I went on a little bit of an excursion. I was going to take you, Stav, yeah. because uh, we are hoping to build. Well, that's what we always do because mm. Scotty's a builder. That was the plan. We're always going to flip houses and mm. then you have kids and you go, oh, my God, this is really hard. So we're going to try again. Uh, so for a child. No, 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 for flipping houses. Right. You know, because we thought, he's a builder. Yeah. That's gonna, what he does, that's right? That's what he does. It's, how hard can it be? It shouldn't be that hard. Yeah. And then he's like, yeah, but it's materials are expensive. And I'm like, well, I'm sleeping with the wrong person. Should be with someone from the timber yard. From Bunnings. <laughs> so, <laughs> so where were we going to go? Oh, <laughs> we went once to look at a design centre. We did, we did. Remember? We yes. went through there. And I like to take someone else because I always feel out of my depth. Yeah. Like when you're looking at too something. Too much choice. Too much choice, but not even that. You're looking at it and you're like, is that a tile for the floor? Is that a tile uh, for the ceiling? You know, when you, do, you don't know yeah, and you just feel like a, a, a bit yeah. of a douche. Fish out of water. Yeah, yeah. So Who's I was tiling to act, the ceilings? Well, no, you don't know. I didn't know if it was a, um, a, a, a what are you called? T- like a, for the roof. I couldn't see the difference of it. It was just oh, looked weird. Okay. Right. When you when you go through it, it does look a little bit yeah. like you have to know. You have to know something. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. then I, I went through it to try and get some ideas. And then at the end, uh, you circle like what you're interested in. Mm. They give you a, uh, like brochures for it. Mm. So I was like, okay, cool. So I circled what I was interested in and then he gave me brochures. And when I was going into this place, I just would like to start with there was no gate. So what had happened is I must have followed someone else into the car park and the gate was open. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. So I'd went through. And then when he gave me brochures, he's like, have you ca- parked in the car park? And I was oh. like, yes. And he's like, oh, okay. Well, and gave me a little cutout mm. for it of the code. I was like, Great. The code to get out. Didn't have to pay for parking. Great. Now, this is a lesson of read right to the end because we're headline people. Yes, we are. How many times have we delivered a story yeah. and it's not that at all because <laughs> we haven't read to the end? Yeah. And, Every single time. Mm-hmm. And instructions, I'll go, yeah, cool, no worries. I feel like I've got the end of that. No worries. Yeah. Read it. I know. I used to do that in school exams. Mm. There was always that trick that the teacher used to do, like read right to the end, and then once you read to the end, only mm. fill out one question, fill yeah, out your name. That one, yeah. Yes, yeah. but you didn't. Classic. No one did. Because you saw other people writing, so you had to it's write. like terms and conditions and contracts. <laughs> Here's my signature. Take it. Mm. So I got in my car. I drove right up to the gate, and I thought, he did say a pin, but maybe I can't find where the keypad is. Mm. So maybe it's one of those automatic opening ones. And you just have to open. think the pin real hard. Think the pin. <laughs> so I parked right up to the gate. Yeah. And then I thought, where is this pin code? And I thought, oh, here it is. It's way behind. Right. It's way behind. Mm. So I got out of the car mm. to go to the pin code. Yeah. And I was like, cool. Got out the information and I keyed it in. And I was like, great. The door was open in my car. Now, this is a whole thing of read to the end. Mm-hmm. Because what does it say down the bottom? After you do the kin- pin, oh, no. so the she's pin. put the pin in, and then if you read to the bottom, it says key key code pad is blah 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 to exit. Please note, gate opens inwards. What okay, gate opens inwards? All of them, technically, depending. No, on where not you're really. Standing. It should be a slide. Shouldn't it be a slide? Have you have you scratched your car again? The gate was. And I was like, the, oh, the my same, God, the, the gate. same car that came out of the uh, crash, repair last crash repair last week, just Wednesday. I am running. And you know when you're, like in, Indiana action, Jones. You know when you're in an action movie yeah, and everything yeah. falls into place so, yeah. and it's just like, oh, that's dun, hot. Dun, 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 what do dun, I do? Yeah. Run to the door, slip down, 
as I see the gate running to my car, and I'm like, no, no. no. I'm at that point, like, do I run in between the gate and do some sort of sacrifice? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) No. Could you have held, could you have grabbed the gate and stopped it from Well, I was hoping to get into the car to reverse it quickly, but I slipped and fell down on the floor as I see the gate. And the gate just. How bad is it? Well, I think it must happen all the time, but I wasn't worried about my car. There's a little thing. But I wasn't worried about, I haven't told Scott again, but I wasn't worried. No, about, we're aware of that. We're aware of that, yeah. But you know what I was worried about is like people looking at me yeah. on the cameras going, this mm. absolute, like. Oh, no, they definitely do. There's someone, they, they would check that every day. That, and now that these, would happen these, every day. These days they upload it to the internet. Why wouldn't you start with caution, gate opens inwards, and then the keypad? Or wouldn't you say that to people? I do agree, though. Why would a gate... Oh, no, hang on. Mm. So you over you overdrove the keypad yeah, as in and then you, got if you, out. Yeah, if you'd so put if, it you're, in, if you're at the keypad in your car, car then the gate, gate opening inwards is not an issue because there's enough space. Mm. Okay, mate. Yes. But <laughs> I couldn't Facts. find the keypad. The keypad was like way back. I didn't. But you know what I was so nervous about? That I've ruined the gate. Mm. So I drove out and the gate was working again. I drove out and I thought, well, I got to go up and tell them. Right, mm. but if it's working and everything's fine, then I don't. So I parked the car and I just watched for a good forty-five minutes to make sure people were going in and out. <laughs> oh no! Why? You know, in there they've got all the materials they need to build a new gate. <laughs> it's true. You'll be fine. I understand, but still, a sliding gate—it's not that hard to slide in. Like, ugh. yeah, that's... but you know, if done properly, yeah, that's not an issue. Then start it with. Caution, inward gate, <laughs> keypad did the guy, behind when you. When the guy gave you that, though, did he say to you no. the gate opens inward? No, he just gave me and expecting that everyone would read the instructions to the end. So this is just a reminder, make sure you read instructions to the end. Is this better? Yeah, there you go, fixed it. Uh, okay, cool. Idiot, gate opens inwards. Yes, I would have appreciated that. <laughs> <laughs> Stab Abby and Matt for breakfast. B105. The Boost Mobile Gold Coast 500. October 25 to 27. Power in paradise. Tickets available via supercars.com or tickettech.com. Stab Abby and Matt. Brad Parrott, Ron Prix. Driving is my last chance to feel alive. Yes, we are the opening race of the GC500 there on the Gold Coast. We're not racing just for glory, but us grandparents are also racing for a holiday at the QT there, which is a wonderful hotel. Well, I think you're going to meet someone who's super competitive, Maddie. You have to be prepared on your mobility scooter because Jason, killer from Bars Scrub. Jason, have you just given yourself the nickname The Killer or have people refer to you as that? No, no, that that was given to me. I'm I'm quite a competitive person and will go for the throat when needed. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> so the producers have said that you beat Stephen Bradbury in speed skating. Yeah, that's correct. I um I skated with Stephen Bradbury on the Olympic um, training squad for five six years wow. and um yeah beat him in a three thousand meter. I could never beat him in a sprint. He was way too fast, but um I could beat him in a three thousand meter. So my guess is you're going to hang back. Yeah, <laughs> I, was just, I don't want to start talking smack too early, but I think anyone could beat Stephen Bradbury Whoa. if they don't fall over. <laughs> he had to get he to was the Olympics. He was their fastest Australian. Yeah, mm. and he didn't fall over this time. It was the one yeah. time he yeah, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no one fell over. Mm. Um, you sound quite young, Jason. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, for 50, a grandparent? 52. 52? 52. Okay. okay. Yeah. So another, another young granddaddy. Mm-hmm. I just thought that yeah. Maddie thought that he was going to be the most athletic and by all the sounds of it. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Well, you still, Jason, what sports do you play? Uh, uh, pickleball. Ah. Wow, it's a faster growing sport. Just ask him. Um, I just what, want you to know I don't have a dad bod, by the way. I've, I've just found out recently that I, in fact, have a father figure. A father, a father figure. figure. <laughs> oh, my God, you're funny. You're a grandfather <laughs> figure. Um, what sports do you play, Maddie? I uh, mm. mountain bike. When was the last time you did that? Oh, six months ago. Um, it's I, like riding a bike, though. Yep. Literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just do other bits and pieces <laughs> from time to time. Uh, <laughs> it's not about the, the physicality of the body. It's the mobility scooter and the Of course it is. But I'm just, it. Yeah, of course. But I'm just sort of yeah. thinking that you were under the impression of, oh, I'm going to win I'm and not, it's going to be unfair because I won't be able to win the holiday. But I don't think you've got a chance. No. Yeah. Hell of no. winning. Um, I mean, he does have one slide. I did get a knee reconstruction four months ago, but okay. I'm fully fully mobile again now. Well, you right. might want to keep yours after. 
scooters. <laughs> 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 yeah. So we're racing mobility scooters because uh, we are all grandparents, but you are also a proper petrol head. You're at Bathurst right now. As we speak, yes, I'm standing at Bathurst. Getting oh, that's tips. Exciting. Getting tips. Mm. Where are you? Where I are have you? I've raced go karts in yeah. the past. Okay. Oh, you're I've never been to mate. Bathurst. God, I've been looking forward to that one one day. Mm. It's the ultimate, isn't it, Jason? Bathurst, Bathurst is an awesome experience. Mm. Been coming for about six or seven years um, down from Queensland and bring different friends each time we camp on the mountain. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's, it's a buzz. Obviously, our race is slightly smaller. In duration. So I have I have a question about the racing format. Yeah. Mm. Uh, is is the starting grid going to be picked at random or will there be qualifying? Oh. Oh, you mean who's got um pole, pole position? Pole position. Yeah. 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 I. I mm. we'll probably do the professional thing and pick it out of a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to know what I have to prep for, whether yeah, I yeah. need to do lots of Oh, I don't think you can prep for this, Jason. Mm. I think you yeah. just need to uh, just do your best. Right, okay. Yeah. I love it. He's, he's thought that far ahead. Well, yeah, it I looks like he's going to yeah. put the track onto <laughs> an AI, see where he should be. Yeah, take the, <laughs> take the corners at the right yeah. trajectory. Uh, buddy, well, you are in. You are going to be racing, and hopefully uh, you win that um, holiday to the QT on the Gold Coast. Can't wait. Should be a load of fun. Good on you, Legend. Appreciate it. There we go. Uh, Step into the reimagined QT Gold Coast, your beachside destination worth waking up to. Book now at qtgoldcoast.com. It is Stav, Abby and Matt at B105. Stav, Abby and Matt for breakfast. B105. Taking a leaf out of Abby's book. Don't do that. Putting a leaf back in Abby's book. (laughs) (laughs) No, well, you love a fresh start. You love a clean slate. You love first of the month. Yeah. Uh, New Year's Eve. Yeah. It's your favourite. I decided to get uh, baptised in year nine. How much? I really thought you were going to say last Wednesday then. (laughs) The way that was coming. It'd be good. No, because I was like, it was a restart. Mm -hmm. I was a bit disappointed. They don't dunk you at that age. They don't? No, they just sort of get a little bit. Year nine. Oh. Oh. Remember in COVID when they were using water pistols? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Good times. But I do love a rebirthing story. That that was just a priest wanting to have a bit of a giggle. He had a super soaker. (laughs) on it. (laughs) <laughs> Fire hose was taking it too far. Because mm-hmm. um, we've just moved house. Oh, fresh start. How exciting. Fresh start, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, and I thought, let's fresh start. Let's get some new systems in place. You oh. May, you, you, you may, <laughs> first one. It's a big you one. You idiot. It's a big one. You may not have noticed, but it's actually quite huge and life-changing for me. <laughs> I've parted my hair in the opposite direction. We noticed. Yeah. 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 Changed my whole outlook. Yeah. Is that because of the house that you did that? I knew did me. It. Knew me. Knew him. Yeah. Oh. Um, Clean slate. New systems. Yeah. But what, it's hard what, because I keep on going like that because that's the way I normally brush my hand through my hair, but I have to go yeah. that way now. Were you not happy with the old you? Oh, you know, there's always room for improvement. Of that's course. what we thought. You know? <laughs> 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 you know, you keep the good stuff. Yes. And then you yeah. try new stuff, right? Yeah. When you say new systems in your ha- mm. house, though, mm. is everyone mm. else on board with that? No. Or No, okay. <laughs> because you know when you get... I remember like a new car and I never had a new car because I always bought them second hand, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And when we got a new car and I was like, guess what I said? No, no, no one's eating in the car. car. No one's eating in the car. And then a week later, you're yeah. like, oh, well, it's ruined now. Mm-hmm. I do that every time I get my car cleaned of as well. Of course you, you do. Say the same thing like, okay, let's just keep it like this. Yeah. Or is it a kid being quiet with a chip packet? Give them the damn oh, chips. Yeah. You're like, yeah. mm-hmm. Um, and this one I like, because I don't know about you guys, do you, you're pretty good with it because I know you hate waste, right? Mm. But do you guys get to the end of the, the shopping cycle and you've got a whole lot of food that you have to throw away? No. A lot of never. wastage. No, never. you don't have no, any. Cause, no, because... Mm. You've got a Scotty human garbage wo- disposal. <laughs> which is Scott. <laughs> yeah. No, because if there's anything left over, like carrot or whatever, yeah. we'll chop it up and we'll cook it for the dogs. Yeah. And then that becomes that. Mm-hmm. Um, and plus, no, because I've got a family of four boys. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. But I think the problem that we have with it, because I, I normally have a bit left over, because of, we've only got three in our family. And you're not a big eater. I'm not a big eater, but everything is packaged for either one person four people or sometimes two people not for three so it's you always have to buy the four steaks and we're only going to eat two uh, one one each you know uh, so i do end up with a little bit and there's a new tiktok challenge called the pantry challenge where you only shop from your pantry for a week oh my god it's my favorite thing <laughs> it's my favorite this is what it i do it sounds good i haven't so, tried it yet but do it sounds you know great why i don't like waste why cuz my mum has one of the fridges that is like a museum mm. where it's like the top shelf you can't put anything in because there's like 20 mayonnaises. <laughs> what is going on with that? What level do you get to in an age where you just don't? 
Well, Weird stuff out. Anymore, yeah. It's disgusting. Mm. So because of that reason, mm. mum will go, oh, you haven't got any food, I'll go and buy some. I'm like, oh, yeah, da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. We have a freezer yeah. and we've got a cupboard. Remember that chef that used to go in and she used to only cook meals for them oh, by looking at there and I used yeah. to go, that's amazing. So what's the, with the theory, how does the theory work? So you, you say, don't go to the shops, you can only cook with what you've got in your fridge until the fridge and pantry are empty. Oh, okay. So like even, so you, what happens, so could you go to your pantry Look at, say, whatever spices and that are there and mm-hmm. then go and buy meat for no, that? No, 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 no. No, no you so should have meat in if there. If you don't have meat, it becomes a vegetarian, vegetarian. meal. And yeah. if you don't have that, then you oh, just have plain pasta. Awful. It's fun. <laughs> awful. You like saving. I thought you'd be on board with yeah, this. Yeah, but I wouldn't, I like to save money, but I wouldn't become a cult member of the vegetarian league. Oh, no, but then you'll no, go but and get cans, t- you'll get cans of tuna or you'll look and there'll be like a can of salmon and yeah. then you make salmon patties. It's fun. Right, okay. Mm. He's not on board. He's not on board. Yep. And technology these days because, yeah, a lot of people say in, in doing the challenge, but how I've got all this stuff here, but I don't know what to cook. You can whack it in chat GPT. And it comes up with it. It comes up with it. Yes. And I, actually in Googling this, there's actually a lot of um, apps where, like where you just put in what you've got in yeah. your fridge and it'll spit out a recipe. I did you. pork sausage um, pasta. Yep, that works. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. they're in the freezer. Right. Mm. See, I'm, I love it when he says right. Really like, I'm never like, going to do this. This is so <laughs> no, out of my alley. I, I, I will have no yeah. issue with you guys it's a doing pick, it. What, it. What it's avoiding <laughs> is the popping to the shops. Yeah. yeah so you never, okay. ever pop to the shops. Yeah. Mm. And it so does change my mind. Sometimes like, mm, I feel like some lamb. Nah, tonight. you can't. No. You feel like what's in your pantry. You just got to do it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Admittedly, I misspelled pantry when I put in the pantry challenge. I was looking for something different, but this is still much. It's still fun. It's still fun. Stab Abby and Matt for breakfast. B105. Hey, it's producer Ash here, and we're taking a look back at the week that was with Stab Abby and Matt. Good job, guys. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't, but thank you. But you know what? People who listen to this show know what they come here for. Yeah, right? shambles. It's not like it's not like this is a surprise. What's going on no, here? That's true. This week we met our racers who will be storming the track at the GC five hundred for our grandparent Grand Prix. <laughs> Up, it was Trev the Rev. I'm sure you would have driven some cars at some high speeds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I have. <laughs> Poppy Pete. I'm going to get one of those red ones, because red's always fast. You get the old lawn me up a red one? Yeah. Sick Vic. I'm a gangster, daddy. That's what my grandkids call me. <laughs> Jason, a.k.a. The Killer. I skated with Stephen Bradbury on the Olympic training squad. And Jody, the saboteur. Don't pepper oh. spray the other grandparents, though. That's my only Why thing. Why not? Oh, well, <laughs> I like her. <laughs> Things kick off with this main event. Yeah. Yes, immobility scooters. Maddie is going to be racing some other grandparents. Mm-hmm. Is that who you're referring to at the first event? You, you know what? You're just in the track. Yeah. yeah well, we're the opening act. Yeah. They don't really say that. I mean, yeah. The race car drivers don't before refer to themselves as performers. Sure. Well, sure. they need to get with the times. Shut up and drive. We learn about the power of celebrity influencers after Taylor Swift wore glitter freckles to a Chiefs game. Sales have gone up. Yeah. 3,000 percent. Oh my gosh. Wow. What? That's good. You know that celebrities are the ones that sell things. They're the oh, yeah. they're influencers. Mm-hmm. That's what happens. I mean, you think about it, even like uh, mm-hmm. like Kate Middleton, any mm-hmm. dress that she wears sells out in absolute seconds. Mm-hmm. You don't see Revlon ads on TV with Jenny from Logan Lee, do with you? With her <laughs> lipstick on her cheek. You, know, like, you go, you, should. you know, but you wouldn't buy it. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Oh, what, what you, that no, Mer- uh, that Merv from Caboolture. I go, maybe he's we, born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's we, Maybelline. <laughs> <laughs> Saying, OK, Boomer could soon be a thing of the past. The Western Australian government is going to stamp out terms such as Boomer and Millennial because they claim it divides generations. But there are divisions of generations. Mm. So Shut now up, not, boomers. So now there's no generations. We're all just people, unless you don't identify as that. I, I'm, I'm not sure. It's, it's the it's Western not Australian sure. government. Shut Who up, cares? boomer. <laughs> <laughs> the move is part of a Challenge Your Bias project mm. launched to tackle ageism. Uh, the guide booklet. <laughs> they've got a guide booklet. Look at them go. Also wants to end the use of proverbs such as over the hill and you can't teach an old dog new tricks. I'm for one of behind <laughs> this. I'm behind this. But this is terms that you use. Yeah, yeah but I can Old use dog? them. Because... 
Now, you listen here, young whippersnapper. <laughs> I didn't fight in two world wars to have you. Oh, yeah, how ridiculous is that? Uh, With everything going on in the world, I, they're like, don't call me a boomer or a millennial. <laughs> We gave away $10,000 to Maddie in Redland Bay. Your letter this morning is N for November. Name and occupation. Yeah. A jewellery item. Necklace. Something related to outer space. Neptune. A female Hollywood actress. Natalie Portman. A type of material. Nylon. An element on the periodic table. Nitrogen. A savoury food. Savoury food. Nuts. An active wear brand. Nike. Country. Nigeria. 90s rom-com. Never been kissed. 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 What does your kid actually want from you right now that's so important? Oh, she wants to say hello. Oh, no. hello. Do you want to tell her that mummy just won $10,000? For more fun times and behind the scenes action, head to the listener app. That's really amazing. We really need this. Be happy. Be happy. Yeah. Oh, she oh, is happy. happy Until next time, that's a wrap with Stav, Abby, and Matt. Stav, Abby, and Matt. Alpha Bucks, guys, we're going to play uh, Monday. It'll be the. 14th of October, here are your answers to play 7 and 8, 10 grand. 7 a.m., your letter is M, and some of your answers are Mary Fowler, Milo, and my spirit animal, Moose. 8 a.m., it's H, and some of your answers are Harry Styles, Hercules, 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 and Hamburger. Right up, see you Monday, boys.